Do you know what is the difference between tasks and reminders? And when is the best time to ever use them in ClickUp? Hi, I'm Shirley, a ClickUp consultant, and I'm just here to tell you when is the best time that you should use ClickUp reminders. So what are reminders? Reminders are like a simple version of a task. And if you're familiar with using yellow sticky notes, they work exactly the same way. And so with reminders, they're actually just that. They remind you to do a certain thing. And with tasks, as we know in ClickUp, it's more powerful. You can do a lot of things with tasks, like you can go ahead and have automations. You can see the comments inside a task and you can filter and sort through them, right? Now, with reminders, it's just really simple and you can go ahead and create them for yourself or delegate them to others. So how exactly do we create a reminder? It's very simple. You just go ahead and press the letter R in your keyboard and you'll go ahead and be able to enter a reminder. So another way you can go and create reminders is through this button on the bottom right. And you can see to create a reminder over here. Another way you can enter reminders is if you go to your home and you will see if you hover your mouse over here, you can also add a reminder this way. Now, how do you view all the reminders that you entered? So you can see here that I have entered a reminder to eat lunch. And so it's going to appear under my work. And normally the default reminder for that, it's going to be due today, unless you change it to a different date. And your reminders will also appear on your agenda. On to your right, you can see that I have my reminder to eat lunch over here. So now what are the things that I can do with reminders? You can go ahead and actually change the due date when you want it to be reminded of. And so it's disappear. Now you can also change the notification of when you will get reminded of that. So you will see here 10 minutes before, an hour before. You can have your own custom reminder or even not to notify you at all. And then you can also have it delegated or simply assigned to someone else. You can see here a delegate button and you can go ahead and delegate it to someone else in your team so they will be the one to get that reminder. So it's very easy to go ahead and create a task and find them in your ClickUp. Another way that you can differentiate between a task you've created or a reminder is that a reminder will have that little ribbon wrapped around your pinky finger. So it will appear over here as a reminder. If there are tasks, it will appear differently. So it definitely will you need to select where it should go. All right, create a task. And so it will show you the task has a status and Normally it, it does look the same as a reminder, except for the icon of having that little ribbon around a pinky finger. So why would we ever want to have a reminder, right? So reminders can actually be viewed across multiple workspaces. So if I have this workspace here and I will go to a different workspace. I will still see my reminder over here. So it's going to stick with me with any workspace that I go. And that is just one benefit that I can see where you would use a reminder is because you can really see it wherever you go. Another benefit is when you're in a real hurry and you just really want something set up real quick, you just go ahead and press R and just remind myself to create my reading notes and save it. So it's there, it's in your ClickUp and it's just 
a simple reminder for you to get back to later in the day, right? But compared to tasks, tasks are really powerful in the sense that you can definitely put more features inside it. You can go ahead and put it as a comment. You can go ahead and actually do more with it. So when having a reminder here, if you prefer to have it as a task instead, because you realize that it should be a task, it's very easy to convert it. And you can go ahead and click this add to list and just choose wherever you want that reminder to be converted into a task. And so if it's now inside a task, let's go ahead and add it here. You can also actually set up a reminder inside a task. If you go ahead and click on the test here, you will see an option to remind you of this comment. So there are multiple ways to actually go ahead and use reminders. So if you want to go ahead and use it, just use it sparingly because at the end of the day, we want to monitor tasks instead of reminders. And I hope that has helped you. And you can go ahead and add reminders if it's just a simple to do for yourself.